Hello, everybody. This is Bundesfer Bob, joined once again by Ben Magnus and Midge. We're playing some more EU4 Rights of Man review stuff here. It's not quite well, it's probably out now. What which episode is this? Five? Yeah. Seven, yeah, five. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, it's out today. So there you go. Hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> you know, math is right. If not, then I apologize. Or if it's been out for a day already, then you know, just like stop. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Then I made a mistake and you shouldn't be watching. So this. I was looking at more of the the uh, institution spread and your development actually does directly play into how fast it spreads. Oh, right. Because I'm looking at it. So if you go, if you go back to like, that if you go back sense. to the institution um, indicator for, for a province, it gives you the tick per month. Mm -hmm. If, 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 you, if you hover there. over that number, it'll tell you exactly what's going on. So I've got nearby friendly province, adjacent province and European 10 development province. European 5 development province post-1500, European 20 development province. Yeah, yeah. so those are all modifiers that you can gain by pouring development into those provinces. So that 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 is, right there is a, uh, a tall versus wide benefit. Right, so tall nations are going to have the benefit, can... at least in Europe anyway, of becoming technologically superior to their... Uh, well, maybe not technically. I mean, if you go like conquer a bunch of you know Renaissance or laden or institution laden nations, and I think you just get the opportunity to to just have yeah, those. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna. But it's another gameplay gonna... avenue that wasn't ah, as it, works. it wasn't as emphasized yes. before playing tall. You could play tall, but it wasn't as directly rewarded. Yeah, there it was. It was easier to play wide. There wasn't a lot of benefit to going tall versus wide. Yeah. Churches on every street corner. Yeah, I've only got one church so far. I'm not making much money. What heathens? <laughs> yeah, so I just I just bumped up the um, development in Berlin to twenty to see if it added on the European twenty development province uh, boost, and it, it does right off the bat. Well, there you yeah. go. So, uh, like, I'm ahead in admin and diplotech. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more to some of these provinces. Yeah, I'm ahead in admin, but not by much. I'm very close to both the. Basically, it, it, it you 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 can jumpstart it by getting uh, high development, but touching is is where it's mostly going to be coming from. Yeah, you know, waiting for it to spread up to you. Yeah. How do wait? How the fuck did you get it, Flanders? Uh, because we get bonuses for ports. Uh, Where's that displayed exactly? Uh, if you in the same thing where it says spread. So I get plus forty five percent spread because ten percent for part of a state, ten percent for having a port, ten ten percent for being at peace, fifteen percent for positive stability. Okay, so my beloved heir died, who was kind of a shithead, so <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> but I have the option to either get a free church in Altmark, or I get a an heir that is a five two four with a weak claim. Uh, I'm still not seeing the how port. Is your ruler? Oh, my ruler is a three three two. So this person's quite a good, a bit better than my ruler, and my ruler is forty nine. Uh, forty nine. Uh, I. I'm leaning towards taking the really good air. Yeah, I would take the air. I think. But, I mean, it wouldn't be so bad. I mean, the free temple is pretty good if your leader's young and young enough to like have another air, whereas yours might not be. Yeah, he's forty nine. Okay, Joaquim Nestor. Is zero years old. Joaquin. Do you have a wife as well for a regency? Uh, Electris Catherine von Vetten. That's a really cool name. <laughs> Catherine von Vetten. Just the Electris bit as well. It's just. The <laughs> Electris. It's. So she's a superhero. Sounds like what? Well, no, it sounds like a uh, sci-fi movie. It's like. Sounds like uh, like the leader of a civilization in Doctor Who. Oh, great, Electris. <laughs> I thought you said you didn't watch Doctor I Who. I do watch Doctor Who. I've watched it all, is the problem. I haven't seen the recent series, the recent Doctor. I don't, oh, I, okay. I haven't watched any of Peter Capaldi's stuff. No, I, I loved all of Matt Smith's and David Tennant's and uh, Christopher. Oh, I love David Tennant. Christopher Eccleston. Yeah, we've we, in my flat. We've just rewatched all of uh, David Tennant's episodes. Great. 
All right, so if I declared war on Manchberg, oh god. Uh, let's, this is the if I declared war on Manchberg, this is who would join the war against me: Hamburg, Bremen, Oldenburg, Riga, Lubeck, Saxony, Brunswick, Teutonic Order. Well, yeah, I mean, he, he they're allied to those people, and they're in a trade league. Of course, they're cut it. What about Anhalt? They're also in a trade league, and they're allied to Bohemia. Oh, Cox, Bohemia is my uh, is my. Ah, Cox. Bohemia is my oh, rival. I died. What about and Poland is still. Oh wow! Mashburg oh wow! Own... My air, look at that. Hoo, hoo, hoo. We got a. I'm currently a six four three, and my air is a six five three. That's pretty cool. And he's about to gain his first personality. I have no concept. Did you just say six five three? Yes, is my air, and he is a You're... martial educator. He has. Minus one percent yearly army tradition decay, and my wife is a three three oh, two. Pain. This is my wife is a von Habsburg. My <laughs> wife is a von Habsburg. <laughs> it's happening. You're gonna want to watch. You're gonna want to watch out for the uh, the inbreeding there. <laughs> oh dear. Nah, it's fine. Everything's it's, fine. It's, uh, 1463. I don't think it was that bad at this Maria point. Maria Amelie von Habsburg. She's oh wow. I'm 18 and she's 24. And she's cruel. National unrest plus two. Thanks for that. <laughs> Thanks for that, Bob. Vassalize Trier. Make Trier vote for us. Just have to spread the master race, yeah. <laughs> Bob's German accent's great. He sounds like the guy in um, <laughs> Helsinger Bridge, who's the leader of the Nazi party. Mm -hmm. Gentlemen, V. I'm <laughs> okay, so there's not much I can do in because of these goddamn trade leagues. Um, I'm thinking I gotta wait for shit to go down with the Teutonic Order and 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 just try to sneak Danzig away from them because they're they got powerful allies. My A E at. No. Low Gentlemen, enough. I have a new objective. I must I must seize the salt mines of Ansbach. <laughs> Cuz they're going to get salty in a second. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I'm the salt god. Salt for the salt god. Salt for the salt god. Sodium for the sodium throne. Poland is no longer renting out Conduct here to Kazan. Oh wow, those Polish troops really marched quite a ways from home. Uh, not if well, if you think Lithuania is part of Poland, pretty much. Is it me or is Crimea grown? Crimea, Crim yes, yeah, it has by a lot. It's eaten up the Golden Horde with Kazaria. Mm-hmm. Oh. Muscovy is still a thing. Novigrad. It looks like Muscovy took a big chunk on a Novigrad. Not as big as it normally does. Friedrich II embarrasses the court. Uh oh. Munston separates. Complete. Committed an absolute faux pas today in front of the court and a few foreign dignitaries. Lose one stability. <laughs> God damn it. You and your positive events, bitch. I'm jealous. That's all right. I'm about to have, like, separatists fire, so. All that conquest I did is about to bite me in the bum. Oh, did you take? Do you have a uh, not a um, overextension? No rebels, just rebels. Rebel uprisings at eighty percent. Ooh, oh boy. Trier told me no. So I can just wait for this peace to expire in eleven years, and then take the rest of Pomerania. Yeah, I've got to wait for my A to fall off quite a bit before I do my mission. My mission is apparently to vassalize Trier. Ludenberg. Mecklenburg's my ally. Uh... I am not going to worry about these rebels. I'm just going to up the autonomy. Screw you guys. Hey, I have re um, I have a Renaissance present in one of my provinces. You can embrace the Yay. Renaissance. 
It will cost me 82 gold. Uh, but fine. Gelray has embraced the Renaissance. I am Jelly. Speeding I am, up their technological I am, development. I'm so Jelly. Good. You better be. Ein, what is that? Ein, ein Tweek Lungstkosten. <laughs> is he trying to? Who the hell is Ein Tweek Lungstkosten? I don't know. It's a thing. It's global development cost. Oh. Um, Christ! What is going on with this game speed thing? Okay, we are okay. We're we are th we're expected to uh, embrace the Renaissance in Berlin in 1491. God damn it! Almost 25 years. Bob, when are you gonna get your uh, first Renaissance? Uh, the first province is gonna be Gertz, which is gonna be uh, in 1466, so a year from now. Which if if I think if, Berlin is gonna be the first place in the area. You're at point two, so fourteen ninety two is where you get in the Renaissance. Such a backwards people. Yes. <laughs> oh, fuck you. <laughs> <gasps> oh, I oh, insulted the Emperor. God no. I'm really looking forward to what to see what my do you either of you guys have three traits on your leader? I yet? did and then I died. I I oh. do. I have uh, the aggressive expansion impact minus ten percent, and then I have well connected, which advisors cost me twenty percent less. And then he did get uh, oh, that's great. It is pretty good. And then yeah. I got obsessive perfectionist, which gives me increased build cost of ten percent. Yeah, I got that one on uh, Catherine von Vetten. Catherine von Vetten. My my von Habsburg. I, woman I don't is know cool. where I was going with that's that. That's gonna be really annoying. All right, so I, if I declare war on the Teutonic Order, Magburg will join in as their ally. That would give me an excuse to attack Magburg without drawing in the rest of the alliance. Then I could double back around and take Danzig. The only problem is Hungary. Bob, what are your plans for Hungary? Uh, I am best friends with Hungary. Ah, oh, son of a bitch, Bob. In God Austria, why would I not be friends with Hungary? I was hoping you'd try to get the PU. Well, I do want to get the PU. I just can't do it right this second. There, it, the Hungarian independence is guaranteed by the Ottomans. Oh, really? Uh-huh. Ouch. Oh, oh, England is now almost not a great power. What? The Mamluks are doing really? better than England. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, England, get your shit together. Oh, it's because Castile Well, the Mamluks are doing pretty good. They haven't ker kerploded, and it looks like they actually took some land from the Ottomans. Uh, well, there's, Ottomans there's, like some, Athens. there's some little minor nations in that particular area right there. Yeah. So, Your I mean, they'll, they'll come to blows soon enough, I think, and then, you know, Mamluks yeah. will, will fold. <laughs> and then we'll see what happens. won't exist anymore. Well, I, pretty uh, much I actually am. have all my diplomats free right now. I suppose I could just declare war in Venice, I guess. I mean, they're still a tech ahead of me, though. If you overwhelm them in numbers, I'm sure you can do it. Zipla discovered us building a spy network. God damn it. All right, so who else? You, there was someone else you were going to pull in. That would bring in the Livonian Order as well. Okay, the Livonian Order I'm not as worried about as Hungary. But I can just call Bob into it. Crying out loud. What are you calling me into? What are you, what? I was, uh, I'm, I'm thinking about attack of the Teutonic Order sometime in the near future. By way of... By attacking the Teutonic Order. Yeah, but that's Hungary, Livonian Order, Magdeburg. I'm going yeah. to decline that war call. And cost yourself 50... Toward 25 prestige. Yes, Ooh. because I'm swimming in prestige. I don't mind. <laughs> Isn't Dean refugee? Refugee. I still have I'll zero. That. I mean, like, uh, hung hungry features into my plans of, of, you know, ascending into, you know, greatness. Oh, wow. Receive uh, the Friesland. Yes. Friesland has taken into the Renaissance headland. Should be able to annex. Friesland is growing large. Should be able to annex Salzburg here pretty soon. All right, so now Prussia needs an idea. Do you know what I need? I need better relationship over time, person. 
Oh, there's a Diplo rep person. And okay. there's a... Okay, so... Okay, I need 15 gold. <laughs> my initial thought for Prussia is aristocratic ideas. Because it has... Why not strike, like, west and take, like, Lundberg into, like, Verden and stuff? Me? Because attacking one person means attacking everybody? Well, I mean, Lundberg only has Brunswick and Oldenburg as allies. And then Verden doesn't have any friends whatsoever. Lundberg. Then Sax, Sax okay, Lundberg okay, only okay, has okay, Mecklenburg okay, as a them. friend, you know, like, you know, forming Prussia is great and all that stuff. But the, the need to form Prussia is not that pressing until like a little bit later in the game, mm -hmm. which I actually met with success in my Brandenburg game when I finally stopped trying to beeline for Prussia. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Like, it, you know, uh, just just being Brandenburg is not that much different from being Prussia. Now, I will say with Rights of Man, there is a Prussian like government form that we obviously want to be able to see and play with a little bit. Yes. Um, but for the sake of making sure that Brandenburg exists in the future, <laughs> striking yeah. west might be a better idea. <laughs> so, oh god, I don't know which which idea group I want to take. Oh, offensive. You're offensive. Yeah, the extra discipline <laughs> at the end of it. You gotta get offensive. Recover army morale speed. Uh, it's the uh, spirited the corpse decor. Oh, the discipline. Yeah, the discipline. Prestige from land battles, land leader fire, recruitment time, land leader shock. All right, we're offensive. Yeah, you are. About time you got to taste some zone medicine. Good job, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, what, what, what was the name of your spell in D and D, Binge? Uh, Vicious yeah. slandering or something like that. <laughs> Vicious insults. I, my, that's still not my favorite spell. My favorite spell is uh, the one where I can make people just not stop laughing until they choke and die. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> I, could, I for for an advisor, I could choose. Well, you know, what? I probably should go a military advisor. I can afford one. Yes, discipline five percent. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's let's look at this. Let's I can declare war with no CB. That's a bad idea. Um, so we're going to covert action, build a spy network in Lundberg. Oh, that's what I was doing. Fucking better relationship over time. You know, if you're if you're absolutely looking for like an expansion path, west is just as legit as going east. Well, if 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 that's the right now, I'm waiting on the truce to expire with Pomerania to gobble up what's left of them, and the only other expansion option is you know a iffy war at best with the Teutons, which I'm not super thrilled about that idea. Is there anything else I could do in Berlin to speed up? Friendly province has Renaissance. Adjacent province has Renaissance. No, there's nothing it's I can do. Development 20 right now, so you're already capped out at that. It's, I got it. Yeah. So there's nothing else I could do to make it go faster. Uh, And you're expected to do. When is this supposed to be done here? 1492 or something like mm. that. 1492. Mm. Right, a bit of mechanicalism. Is it 400 power points for a doodle? For a doodle? I don't know. For an idea. Land leader shock. Oh, that's going to be great. Land leader shock. That will make me so shocking. Oh. I will have all of the shock. Oh, I, I need Burgundy to fall apart already. <laughs> Collapse, you big red bastard. <laughs> <laughs> big Burgundy bastard. Better red than dead. <laughs> Most think I might just wait for the Renaissance to fire before I actually go offensive. Do anything? Well, yeah, because I'm, I'm so <laughs> lagging behind by by a whole military tech against like Venice. Oh wow, so. it is really spreading. Gold rush, yes, give me all that sweet, sweet gold. <laughs> and I just got a, I, I just got noble family request aid. Lose gold. <laughs> But if I can get it above 38 before when the month ticks over, then I don't have to take a loan. What else on the Venice node? The honest merchants of Brandenburg. I don't believe you for a second. 
All your merchants are wielding swords. That's not how you negotiate. <laughs> we, 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 tra we trade iron for gold. <laughs> the iron price. <laughs> so are you going to try to take, like, Ludberg? I'm fabricating a claim there. Okay. <laughs> I've got Pomeranian no separatists that are about to fire. <laughs> this this no. national minus ten percent national tax modifier from my ruler is really hurting. What minus ten percent? Not that you know the ten thousand troops you have raised has anything to do with that. Well, yeah, I'm trying to hold down separatists. Yeah, I've got I've got mine at max right now because I'm ninety percent towards Pomeranian separatists. And I, they're good. I got twelve thousand troops with a good leader. They've got thirteen thousand troops. I think I could take it. Yeah, I've got. I'm. I'm Ooh, who's uh, Poland fighting? Poland is fighting Teutonic Order, Magdeburg, Hungary, and Livonian Order. Ah, uh, guess what? It might be time so for that's me to an do. Opportunity. It could be anyway. That's that's the opportunity I was looking for. And Poland is, is I think, winning its war too. Uh, well, it's negative two. It's think undecided, but Teutonic Order territory I, I, is being I'm, seized right now. Right, I'm gonna try and. Force I'm gonna sit the issue. on it for a little bit. I'm gonna try and force the issue of this like rebel, monsterian rebels. Fortunately, right now the only claim, the only CB I have on the Teutonic Order is humiliate. So, what kind of war is this? What are you fighting? Attacker against Teutonic Order in the Polish conquest of Osterode. So, so the, Poland was the Poles are trying to Poland take Osterode. Poland was feeling confident enough the AI to engage in that fight against all of them. That's a big war. Yeah. You know, all the belligerents. So Poland uh -huh. is fighting, like I said, Teutonic Order, Magdeburg, Hungary, Livonian Order. And then... Uh, it's Poland, Lithuania, Bohemia. Yeah, Bohemia. There's there's a lot of... There's going to be a lot of dead bodies in the field in your neighborhood. <laughs> the yeah. block, you're going to go outside and the block is going to have a few dead people on the sidewalk. Yeah, okay, land leader shock. I just got that. I just got handed a parcel. And the next one, recruitment time and land leader fire. You just got handed a parcel? Shock, I'm, I'm... Yeah. A parcel? Um, is it a good parcel? I think these are my knives for stage combat. What? what? <laughs> yeah, they're my knives. Holy... Yay. Holy shit, they're big. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> wow, they are huge. They're much bigger than I thought they were. Although, considering it's plural, what is she talking about? <laughs> Wahey. Very, well, hey. very classy. Thanks, Ben. <laughs> I do what I can. I class up the joint. Um, so I'm really kind of just waiting for these Pomeranian separatist separatists to fire at the moment. Because I would like to quash them. Quash them? Quash them. I'll take, I'll take a photo of these and put them in chat. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile... The Gelray King is playing with knives. <laughs> oh god. Moldavia is sieging down Danzig. I really hope they don't actually try to take Dan it's nine percent nine plus nine in favor of the Poles. Well Well if you declared war in Teutonic Order right now, who would join? I think they all would. Nope, there's your separatists. Okay. I'm gonna attack them. This is Woods. Oh shit. That's not good. So I got a negative one. But thankfully I'm rolling well. Never mind. <laughs> I'm losing. <laughs> That's really close. I'll put them in Discord chat. I think I got them. Okay, I got a good Damn it. Switzerland one got more good roll. <laughs> Fucking Swiss. Ooh. Oh, they rolled a nine. Oh, rolled no. a nine. This is uncomfortably close. This is really close. Yeah. This is uncomfortable. I won. <laughs> Damn, okay, at good. the cost of like half your army. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Literally half the army. I had twelve thousand men, now I have six thousand one hundred. Wow. Uh, ben, who are you fighting? The rebels. Oh wow. Yeah. Nobody important. They were just <laughs> rocking as shit. Nobody of consequence. I'm really worried for my rebel stack that might be about to hit. They actually spawned with a pretty good general. 0.4 years. Alright, I'm gonna pull back the guy from 
Lundberg, I think. What do you need? 20 or 25 uh, plot power? Uh, for the first uh, one, it's 20, power? and then it goes up from there to a, to a maximum right, I'm at 18, of so. 35 or something, I think. I got 18.62, so I'll wait for that to finish before I pull them back. And there's my rebels in Mepham. So they spawned on my army. And I think they're going to beat me because they're rolling straight eights. Eight. Yeah, eight versus two. Uh, three versus five. Yeah, I've been beaten by rebels. Oh, welcome to the club. Well, not welcome to the club. Welcome they have to a almost minus my club. one and they're just rolling straight nines. Yeah, that was mm. that was uh, that was difficult to watch, Mitch. <laughs> that was that was not fun. Are, were you, were you, did you have it popped up on your screen? I, yeah, I just was watching the battle. <gasps> you, you did. You, you got the Renaissance. Yeah, costing three hundred sixty-two gold to embrace that. Wow. Um, well, that's bad because I'm not going to be able to afford it when it hits me. That, that's that's yeah. It, it's. To down to size of country and stuff. Well, yeah, it's uh, it's all dependent on how bigger countries. My big is my my big my country is bigger than yours, so it's going to cost more. Plus, what you know, it's based well, on development, is what it is, right? So I have yeah, far yeah. more developed my country than you have in like Brandenburg or in Gelray. So when it does come to your countries, which well, it did to yours already, didn't it, Mitch? Yeah, I got eighty. It cost me eighty three. Yeah, so it cost me a lot to make that happen in my country. What's what's your development, uh, Mitch? Uh, overall development? I can't remember where I find that. Uh, if you go to government and then hover over upgrade government, it should say you have, you know, you need this and you have this. I have, I have 96 61. So I can, I can expect mine to be about 100. Yeah, probably. So I could declare war on Lundberg. And Oldenburg and Brunswick would, would join in. I think I could handle that. I could declare war on Poland. So everybody <laughs> is willing to, everybody is willing to join in right now. Uh I think I'm having a Hung Hungary has thirteen has minus thirteen for more exhaustion. So if they get to minus thirty, then Hungary will I've not got a in. huge graphical error going on. Um if anyone would like to see one, look at the Colonian horse infantry in Gallery. Uh it's all black. Yeah. It's a shadow that's, uh, man. Uh, racist. That's <laughs> shut up, Ben. <laughs> that is the yeah. The apocalyptic horseman right there. So therefore, we probably can confirm that uh, the HRE got the. Although we could have done that by reading the press thing, but the, <laughs> the HRE got. Well, a, we uh, we received. I I I did anyway. I got. Uh, there was the rights of man, and then there's also the rights of man content, content pack. Content pack. So yeah, yeah. So they must have gotten part of the content pack. The HRE. There we are. Oh no! An advisor died. Ooh, yearly back. inflation reduction. Your advisors are bad, and you should. Not advisors are amazing. You shut your whole. You sh well, uh, you shut your bull, whore mouth. Are winning. <laughs> oh God, what, what is that? Um, Anchorman. Yeah, yeah, it is. Um, Teutonic Order is losing. Uh, Poland's at sixteen war score. Uh, would, if, any, if, would any of their if, friends jump in? Is the question now? Everybody would at this point. Everybody would Damn. jump in. Um, I'm I'm trying to I'm kind of trying to wait till Hungary gets enough war exhaustion so that they don't jump in. Uh, well, let's look at the ledger, uh, military, our net navies, armies, uh, country, and let's look for Hungary. Our armies alone strikes fear into our enemy, gain twenty five prestige. I'm losing so it's much the money. First right now. bit of prestige I've I've ever had. You guys should uh, approve the Reichs reform, by the way. Reichs. Reich. 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 Uh, yeah. How do I do that? Yeah, go to the uh, Holy Roman Empire uh, tab, where, like where you vote for emperor, and there yeah. should be a checkbox next to the imperial reforms. Yep. I support it. I support it. them all. 31 Good. people approve, so I need 19 more. Wait, oh, but who wants the Reich die. reform? You should get that when you die. That's normally what happens. Oh, okay. I think I'm about to take a second loan. Fucking separatists. So, Hungary's only got about, what, 
12,000 men in the field. No, they got 16,000 men in the field. And they're marching into Bohemia. They're fucking hungry. They're, they're the problem. I can, I can get Saxony and Mecklenburg to join me, so that would be a little bit. Um... Hungary's at negative 20, positive 30, so they're two-thirds of the way to not joining. Okay, Burgundy is killing my separatists for me. That's fine. Good, good guy, Burgundy. Unfortunately, we're up against time for this particular episode, as we are 28-some minutes in right now. So thank you for watching, everybody. Yep. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe if you're enjoying the series so far, if you're not currently subscribed to their respective channels, mine, Ben's, and Midgemans, as well as please visit mm -hmm. our Patreon pages. Uh, this is something that we do as a, a job. We are, you know, I classify as entertainers, of course. Uh, if you're not entertained listening to us, then oh, I don't yeah. know why you're watching us in the first place. But <laughs> if you like to support us with more than just comedic a... Comedic purposes. <laughs> if you like to support us with more than just a view, please consider becoming a Patreon to our respective Patreon uh, channel, or cha our respective channels and our Patreon pages and stuff. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Bye -bye.